what's happening is basically they spraying these chemtrails and the chemicals are being inhaled mm -hmm. by the indigenous people. So that's another form of mind control. Mm -hmm. You got all of these meadows and and toxins in your brain mm -hmm. that you don't even know that you're inhaling. So now it's like, damn, why am I feeling like this? Why am I thinking like this? And these toxins and these metals are being programmed yeah. for you to feel a certain type of way. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? What was you going to say? I, I was going to basically go into the nature of a thing. Mm. I mean, as far as like, when we, one thing, we're living under or after the effects of white world supremacy living. That's right. And... For the past 6,000 years, this imbalance, if you will, that took place. If you was to go on a farm, mm -hmm. like say you go to Lincoln, I live in, I'm from Philadelphia, I'm living in Exeter, PA. Mm -hmm. So where I live at is like uh, old white people out there, mm -hmm. Indians from India and things of that nature there. And what I notice is like, say for example, the Amish and the Quakers, mm -hmm. they have rats and mice that's vegetarian. You know what I'm saying? Meaning when you look at a mice in its natural field, mice be like, we don't eat still. Right. If we're in the inner city and it's garbage, you're going to see a pigeon eating garbage. That's right. But this is like, I don't eat silk. I don't eat McDonald's. Mm. But if you throw a fresh fry on the ground or a hot dog bun, I'm going to come eat that. And that's going to biologically, genetically alter me. And mm. when I give birth to my little baby mm. chick, they going to have a whole totally yeah. predisposed to this. Now, yeah. But mice and rats and things of that nature, there, the way nature is, nature always keeps itself balanced. Right. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're in an imbalanced world where, like in our lessons, it's that from Muhammad told us 99 natural facts, the devil contaminates three cubic feet of air every hour. Mm -hmm. We breathe three cubic feet of air every hour. That's right. So we can't breathe a breath that's not poisoned. Mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. We live in a holistic universe right i mean it's cause and effect mm -hmm. actions and reactions so if it's a toxic in china it's going to be in philly it's yeah. going to be in africa it's going to mm -hmm. be in australia yeah because this water system right. is one mm -hmm. our atmosphere six miles high is one mm -hmm. i mean the the, the, the the land is one mm -hmm. i mean so the, so the people genetically no matter who they are they all had that origin in the original people mm -hmm. i mean so so my point is that what we're trying to do is get to our balance. Right. Now, I mean, meaning you could take the number one herb on earth and it's poison. You know what I'm saying? Because every poison is a medicine. Every medicine is a poison. Mm -hmm. But the soil is growing in this poison. Right. The water, That's right. The, the, the sun coming through the atmosphere. The sphere of cumulus members, the stratus clouds are polluted. That's right. You're not getting a clean ray of sunshine on your body. <laughs> right. You know what I mean, the, the largest organ on your body is your skin. Black people get skin cancer in Africa. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean, because it's an imbalanced world. Yeah. But when you look at a lion, for example, you put a lion in Gerard Avenue in the zoo on the circus. And you put a lion that's under controlled conditions, you'll notice that a lion can live eating nothing but fruits and vegetables. That's, that's right. You don't have to rip a throat, suck blood, eat meat in order to and do all of that. Life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you build a city cutting up the jungle, taking away his natural habitat, he's going to survival mode. Mm -hmm. Our people financially, <laughs> if they like, yo, I got four babies. I right. Say, I gotta get canned goods. I gotta get the two for one. I gotta get the McDonald's you gotta, meal yeah. because economically, I can't afford the, the the organic, grow my own gardens and things of this nature. There. So what I see is our people are in a struggle for survival. Mm. You know I mean? and, and, and and it's the same like it's a case by case scenario where it's like you go to. A zany or South Africa or Kemet, Egypt, they be like, we got McDonald's here. Yes. No, you ain't never lie. I'm surprised I ain't seen no McDonald's in Africa yet. They, they got it in Saudi Arabia. They changed the name. They they took it to India and it went bankrupt because they like, y'all, yeah, yeah, oh, we don't do that sacred here. But they came up with some vegetarian <laughs> uh, McDonald's mm -hmm. put on my bed. They, you know, KFC back in the day was Geno's. Geno's was more successful because they, they eat the chicken out there, but but um, Pepsi Cola is using that water that they need to drink. 
you know, so so it's like the devil's greed, his financial greed, is really like like Dr. Khalid Wazi put. He said one of the tricks of the white man is that he got us knocking down spider webs mm. without killing the spider, thinking we're changing something. Mm. <laughs> He's mm, like, you knock true. that spider web mm-hmm. down. That spider's just gonna make another spider that's, web. Mm-hmm. You gotta get rid of that spider. Right. And that's mm-hmm. the end result. Right. As mm-hmm. long as the devil is on this planet. We're going to have problems. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, so as long as we're we're under this system of exploitation, the air, like, like I said, the cars that they they, they, they do in the jets, the, the, you know, the, yeah. the, the water, the everything about this world. Right. I mean, you know, since black psychologist, the brother wrote the book, he's like, somebody's trying to kill you. He said, when you wake up in the morning, before you get out the bed, they trying to kill you. That's right. The blanket is trying to kill you. Mm-hmm. The toothpaste is trying to kill you. That fluoride, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I mean, it's trying to kill you. Mm-hmm. When you take and put the soap in, on your body, when you put the water and take a shower or bath, it's trying to kill you. Now, when you go in there and, and turn the coffee pot on, yeah. it's trying to, you turn the light switch on. It's, it's trying, trying to, You yeah, ain't never, I ain't think about it like that. universe. Is trying to kill you yeah. because, <laughs> as the scriptures sure. put it, behold, <laughs> yeah, power. and wherever he went, that followed it. I mean, he, that's just the nature of his world, and where it's, it's impractical for us to think we're going to wait to a better world. It's like, and this is where we come in play in the sense of we're in the emergency room right now. That's right. And we literally got to be like, okay. At this point, me as a minister, my thing is I can't make uh, forbid what the law permitted. But mm-hmm. in 2015, as a minister, it'd be irresponsible of me right. to be like, listen, if you say you are conscious, you must. Right. It's mandatory that you be vegan. Right. It's yeah. mandatory. Right. That you don't eat fish. This not saying that you're going to get a perfect diet, but just for survival sake. <laughs> We got And not only that, you have to approach this holistically, like your breathing, as the brother said. The way we breathe is not even. Yo, stay right here for a couple minutes. Yeah. I'll be right back. The way we, the way people breathe, is not even conducive to our well-being. Um, Dr. Aline Bay, he teaches a lot of breathing techniques, which I practice as well, which is very good. And what he does is, is like, it's like basically rejuvenating your cells just by breath. Shoo. Now, this is the thing. If there's no breath, there's no life. So are you really living? You see what I'm saying? Like, are you really living? So. What we do is after we work out mm-hmm. and no, we do our stretches and we run and all that, mm-hmm. we come together and what we do is we put, we partner up, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And we literally close our eyes mm-hmm. and put pressure on our eyes, eyeballs, mm-hmm. and the person to breathe in and hold his breath for as long as he, we chart. How long can you hold your breath and to get that old oxygen out? Mm-hmm. To put new right. To put it from your abdominal so that then when you open your eyes, right, it's like a new world. The grass looks green. The mm-hmm. snow looks pure. Right. The sky. You, you can literally feel your heart beat. You mm-hmm. feel the blood coursing through your body, things that you wasn't even aware of mm-hmm. because you had that old stale air inside. It's like old air in your tire. Mm-hmm. It, it affects your car. Mm-hmm. Same thing with the body. So that breathing is that we the message told us when you hear in the scriptures them talk about the soul, that's nothing but your breath. That's, that's the, the, your breathing. Mm-hmm. And I mean the breath of life is critical, as he said in the theology of time. That's critical. So breathing is extremely important. Let me say one one the first time I um practiced this breathing technique that Dr. Eileen Bay told me to do, I got so cold. And mind you, it was like in the summertime. I got under the covers. I was so I was I I did that heavy breathing so much that it put me in another state. I was under the covers for like three days, cold. Mind you, I had class and everything, so I had to go to school, but I was still cold. After about three days, I felt so good. He taught, he, um, he, he, he said to me, he's, um, I reached out to Dr. Eileen Bay and was talking to him about, um, um, breathing and stuff. And he said, Did, have you ever seen, um, 
what's that movie again when um um J um the guy was in prison and he was blowing some air in the other people's mouth and rejuvenating them and something green and he was locked up he was locked up the and guy? the big guy yeah. um, the guy. yeah. Um, what's it? Said, the green mile green mile, green mile. he told he told me to do that yeah. he told me to do that and that right there that right there put me in a three-day um um cleansing cycle you can call it a three-day cold cleansing cycle i was cold for three days yeah. under my covers but the after the three days i felt so much better and i was like wow like i honestly can testify to the science behind breath right. and how to breathe properly right. and how to rejuvenate your cells and yeah. how to you know you can even breathe and make yourself look younger Absolutely. and that's how it really gets that's, that's real so I, I, I remember the first, well, a brother that taught me, he taught me the science of being able to close your eyes to see. Mm. And his thing was to show you the immediate result of breathing properly. You mm. know, as far as like your thoughts, for right. example. Now, your, your ability to remember things. Mm. Your, your, if you're lifting weights or doing push ups, your strength. Mm. You know what I mean? Your, your, your endurance. Now, I mean, and, and it, it, it just you, it just literally had you like, no, oh, I need to, this is how we're supposed to live. Right. You know I mean? Like, I'm literally, uh, like, in the summertime, looking at my arm sweating like, is that a rainbow? <laughs> I mean, like, wow. looking like, dang, it's a rainbow in my sweat. Right. You look at the sky, mm. you be like, what's all these stars floating all around? Like, yeah, I see it. Yeah, 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 I see them, too. Like you you know, right. Yeah, I see that, too. Right. Hear them birds all the way over there. Yeah. The guys talking all the way on up over mm -hmm. there. It's it's like, man, imagine that being a natural part of your lifestyle. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. I mean, because you know we we wouldn't get <laughs> sick. We wouldn't get sick. We wouldn't fight against so, each other. You know, yeah. we would be more united. We wouldn't watch yeah, those yeah. those. <laughs> Scandals and empire and stuff that's happening right now that's corrupting the mind. I'm sorry to say, but a lot of you know females, especially people on my timeline, and I'm I'm very, I'm very, um, I'm not gonna say disappointed because that's their path, but I'm kind of disturbed. I'm like, wow, you're supposed to be conscious and you watching that like empire. I don't even know what this is about, but I heard and I know it's some form of mind control. And then on top of that, and I know you sitting in your living room and you eating some type of junk. So you destroying your DNA even more. Yeah. <laughs> you see, people, when we're talking about the finances, do we mm -hmm. see crazy stuff like? And me as a man, I essentially watch that kind of stuff mm -hmm. because I have to be aware of what it is. That What's I'm going? Aware of. Yeah. And I had a, a Sunni friend of mine, and um, he was really like, no televisions, no radios, no this, that, and the other. And all he, you know, had was like the newspaper. Mm. And I was like, the tag boy. So I asked, I said, um, I noticed you don't watch TV, this, that, and the other, but why do you read the newspaper? Mm. And his thing was like, why well, read the newspaper? Because I can stay up to date as to what's going on. Right. And I explained to him, I said, the Holy Quran, because he follows us, I said, the Holy Quran teaches you Satan has no power over you unless you give it to him. That's right. You're the guy. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, all you give you got to you got to give yourself to that one eye mind, mm -hmm. that fight clock, mm -hmm. in order to have an effect. Because you naturally have an immune system against all the devil's tricks. Mm -hmm. I mean, but our people are attracted to seeing black men and women acquiring wealth, mm. designer clothing, mm. uh, homosexual sex, lesbian sex, uh, the the husband sleeping with. The, the son's wife and integration and Some, they yeah. just all over the place and tissy so it's an extremely savage backwards way of thinking mm. but it fits right in with America because mm. when you walk down the street when you go online or on a tablet or a laptop or use a phone and you go on the internet mm. it's 25,000 times worse than uh, a TV yeah. or a radio you ain't now, lying. Like his his thing was, and as soon as his thing was, he don't watch TV and that because the gin may come out of it. So I took his Delhi newspaper and just showed him. Here's women advertising their right. panties and bra. Here's mm -hmm. the porno movies and the, the, right. the classifieds and advertising for liquor and this that. 
You have to give yourself. You, you don't have to run around 